Leo from Roar, back with you today for another tutorial and today's topic is how to cut your fringe at home. As you can see, my fringe needs a wee bit of a trim because I'm like hairdo Harry from the Cash and Carry. So here is what you're going to need. You are going to need your preferred drink. And for me, this is some wine, we're starting off lightly. And you're probably going to want to consume quite a bit of that. Keep going, keep going. We are also going to need some kitchen scissors and we are going to need a comb. And we are also going to need a headband and a Kirby grip. Okay, so you completed step one, which means you're about a bottle and a half of wine down. Good start. Now, you want to grab your comb and comb your fringe forward just a wee bit. And then, with all the best intention in the world, we are going to try to take short snips, all right? However, before you do that, put down your scissors and your comb, take another drink of your wine, or selected beverage, other alcoholic options are available, and then get yourself one of these, grab a grip, we curvy grip, fringe to the side, pop it in. There we go. We're not leaving the house, so there is no risk of bumping in to any lampposts. Alternatively, you can use your hairband. Ta-da! Unfortunately, I only had this hairband as my favourite hairband has my name written in glitter glue on it, but these are trying times. Health and safety announcement. If you are going to do something daft to your hair while we are on lockdown or whether you're in self-isolation, please do your skin test. It's super important. And even if you've been coloured before, you may well develop a reaction. And the NHS are busy enough dealing with all of this without somebody coming in with an allergic reaction. Think about it.